Remember that work is done whenever a force causes a displacement. Imagine that a physics teacher is standing motionless before a class of students. Since she isn't exerting any forces that will displace anything outside of her body, she isn't doing any work. Doing this for any length of time will certainly drain her of energy. Most certainly, a physics teacher or any other person standing is doing work, but the work being done isn't easily visible. Inside the body, the heart is pumping blood, the digestive system is grinding away on breakfast, receptors are driving molecules across cell membranes. We do work even as we sleep. Forces causing displacements are happening everywhere under our skins. The human body is a busy place. If a system as a whole exerts a force on its surroundings and a displacement occurs, the work done is called external work. A physics teacher pushing papers across her desk is doing external work. A physics teacher standing motionless is not doing any significant external work. If a part of a system exerts a force on another part of the same system and a displacement occurs, the work done is called internal work. In mechanics, when we say work has been done, we are often referring to external work. For a teacher holding a book, or any other system for that matter, work is done whenever a force results in a displacement. Teacher holding a book without moving, it surely results in no work being done on the book. Replace the teacher with a table. A book lies on the table. What work is the table doing? Nothing is going anywhere. Nothing is happening. Nothing is being done, not even work. When teacher pushes the book and it moves, a force resulted in a displacement. Work was done. This agrees with our everyday notion of work. When the book is carried horizontally with constant velocity, no work is done on the book. In this case, horizontal displacement is not in the direction of the force applied vertically. Work is done whenever a force or component of a force results in a displacement. No component of the force is acting in the direction of the motion when the book is moved horizontally with a constant velocity. The force and the displacement are independent. No work is done by the hand on the book. Raising a book takes work. Raising a book raises its energy. She can now use the energy stored in the book to do work. She can pound stuff with it, break nuts, drive nail inside wood. The way she does this work is by lowering the book. This also lowers its energy. It can't do any more work once it is back on the table. When the teacher lowers the book at an angle or vertically, it is negative work done. Numerically, the positive work done by raising it was cancelled by the negative work done lowering it, resulting in zero work being done overall on the book. In this O-Physics simulation, a block is pulled at an angle. It is denoted by T. As block is pulled at an angle, force applied on it has two components. One in the direction of the displacement, Tx, and one perpendicular to the direction of displacement, Ty. As we change the angle of pull, observe the change in values of the components Tx and Ty represented by length of respective arrows. Tx is maximum and equal to T when the angle is 0. Ty is maximum and equal to T when the angle is 90 degrees. Work is done whenever a force results in a displacement. Component of the force parallel to the displacement is what matters. Work is directly proportional to the two factors, force and displacement. Direction is handled with the cosine function. Cosine is greatest when the angle is zero. The angle between two vectors pointing in the same direction is zero. Zero at 90 degrees. Forces perpendicular to displacement do no work. Work is best defined by an equation W is equal to F into S into cos theta. Work is equal to force into displacement into cos theta. Where W is equal to work done, F is the force exerted, S is equal to the displacement caused by the force and theta is the force displacement angle. This equation assumes that the force is constant both in magnitude and in direction relative to the displacement at all times. SI unit of work is joule. Both energy and work can be expressed in the same units. How much is one joule? 
energy exerted when force of 1 newton is applied to move the object by 1 meter. This notebook weighs 100 grams. It means it exerts a force of 1 newton on the table. Cupboard is 1 meter high above the table. When it is placed in the cupboard, the action of lifting the book requires 1 joule of energy. We discussed the difference between internal work and external work and learned that force as well as displacement matter when defining work. Take this challenge. Is the work done same when you lift 10 kilogram by 1 meter and 1 ton by 1 centimeter?